Tomorrow is the 11th of November, and it's a date that stands in modern history as the date on which the Great War ended. It was at 11 a.m. on the 11th of the 11th that the guns officially fell silent, marking the end of a conflict that had killed or wounded some 40 million people. At our school, across our country, throughout the Commonwealth and in many other countries around the world, the 11th of November is designated as an occasion to remember those who have fought and died in the line of duty. And given that this year, the 11th of November falls on a Saturday, we commemorate Remembrance Day today. And our school particularly remembers the 44 men who were once boys like you and gave up their lives in service. Our chapel behind me at the heart of the school is our War Memorial Chapel. And the names of the 44 who died are written on an honour board over the northern entrance. We commemorate Remembrance Day as an occasion of solemnity. And although the grief of these losses is not vivid in our own experience, we know that it has nonetheless been real. And we give thanks for the fact that war is not our experience as it was theirs. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eyes, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them lest we forget.